What's up, guys? Welcome back to the garage for a quick trailer reaction. I'm going to work in a couple hours, but I am absolutely pumped to see the new film, The Sophomore Effort, from director Rose Glass. In 2019, she did a religious horror film that A24 produced called Saint Maud, which was in my top five movies of that year. It was an absolutely beautifully epic haunting tale, and the last 10 seconds of that movie lives in my head rent-free. So I am on board for anything she does going forward. She really hooked me in. And there's a new film coming out that we're going to do a trailer reaction for today called Love Lies Bleeding. Not only is Rose Glass in the director's chair, but I am a stan for Kristen Stewart, k Stu, as I call her. She got robbed for her Oscar for Spencer. Come on, the Academy. Let's watch the trailer for Love Lies Bleeding, and then I'll give you some quick thoughts and my reaction at the end. And play. You talked to your dad recently? Why? Ooh. Some Mandy vibes there, huh? Ed Harris. Give us a call. Takes place in the 80s, I read. Hey. But where did you appear from? Which I also love. Oklahoma? I've never been anywhere but here. What were you doing with that big girl? <sighs> Get a lot of crazy ass foreigners mostly. <laughs> James Franco with the mustache. How's it going, guys? This here's Jackie. Hi. She needs a job. Says she'll do anything. Yeah, you like guns? Not really. What the fuck are you doing here then? <laughs> Ed Harris looks you great. More powerful than a punch, huh? Fuck yeah. Call me when it's done. What is this place? Hmm. Huh? You don't understand. Get back in the car. Found the body. Looks like you've got your hands full. I'm trying to see. No regret this. Looks kind of like multiple. Ooh, what was that? I'm gonna tell them everything you ever did. FBI, open up. Are you threatening me? Yep. I like that simple. Yep. Revenge gets ripped. I saw that on the trailer. Or I mean on the poster. I'll never fall in love, okay? A little whimsical there at the end with the title card. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the murder victim's still alive. A little cliffhanger in the trailer there, huh? All right, look, Rose Glass, like I said, I don't care what she does, I'm going to be there. Krista Stewart, I don't care what she does, I'm going to be there. This movie, the, the trailer at least, was a bit confusing though. Like there's obviously the lesbian romance storyline between her and Katie O'Brien's character at the gym there. And I love the 1980s aesthetic. Ed Harris must play k father in the film. Must be like a drug lord or something, I don't know. And the FBI is trying to bust him basically. And maybe trying to use the daughter, k as leverage. So the and, and the tagline is revenge gets ripped. Obviously a bit of a play on words for the bodybuilding and gym aspect. But also, what's the revenge piece here? There's a dead body, a murder in the trailer, wrapped up in the rug, possibly still alive in the back of the truck. So there's a lot of kind of different themes in this trailer. So I don't really know what to expect, but I kind of like that uncertainty. I don't like when trailers lay it all out for you and you know the whole plot of the movie. So what I will say about that trailer is I don't really know the plot of the movie. Like, I know different aspects that are going to be incorporated into the themes. It looks like it's going to be high action. I love the way it was shot. It looks like that 80s noir kind of aesthetic. I love the synth score that was playing in there. Yeah, I'm excited for this one, guys. I had to sneak it in before I go to work today. What did you guys think of it? Love Lies Bleeding comes out next spring from A24. Let me know what you thought of that trailer. Are you looking forward to this film as well? Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you next time in the garage.